I went to Northside before oh, they before closed. closed. Okay. And, uh, so there were three schools in Muncie? There were three high schools. Well, wow. plus births, I mean, so, uh, okay. but births isn't part of our, uh, it's part of all state. Oh, okay. And, uh, okay. Okay, so what I asked you earlier, is there any sense of sadness in the community, or even you personally, that this rivalry is ending? Well, it is. It's kind of bittersweet that it, that, that, that it's ending because uh, because of all the close games and the camaraderie and the and the competitiveness that, that this game brings every year. Uh, but at the same time, uh, yeah, you got to be excited for the opportunities, the opportunities to start some new traditions and maybe start some new rivalries uh, with area teams and, and just that whole sense of, of that merging together to become one Muncie is kind of exciting to me. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Um, let's see, how do you see this transition playing out, especially when it comes to the boys basketball team next year? Well, I think it's going to benefit, uh, you know, not just uh, basketball. I mean, th obviously it's going to help, you know, that sport, but we're, it's going to help us in a lot of other sports too. But it's also going to help uh, provide some opportunities academically for kids, and it's going to help, uh, again, bring Muncie together as one community, and I think that's important. Uh, and, and, and it's always it's always sad to see a school close because of the traditions uh, that they've created over the years and and uh, for Southside you know about 55 60 years of tradition uh, and I we, we understand that and I was part of a school that closed Northside High School uh, and and that's tough too uh, but you know what your memories go on forever and uh, I still remember my high school days like they were yesterday and some of my best friends are, are still uh, from high school, and uh, so it's what you make of it. Yeah, great. That's all the questions I have. Is there okay. anything else you'd like to add? No, I'm good. Okay. I'm good. Awesome. <laughs> I'm just gonna say it a couple times. Okay. Am I standing in the right spot? Okay. Okay. We're here at the Muncie. Let's see, we're here at the Muncie Field. We're here at the Muncie Fieldhouse, home to the Muncie Central Bearcats, the team that has the most state championships in Indiana history. The team got off to a great start this year, and they just beat... Ah, uh, messed that up. We're here at the Muncie Fieldhouse, home to the Muncie Central Bearcats, the team that has the most state championships in Indiana history. The team got off to a great start this season and be their biggest rival in one of the most anticipated games of the year. We're here at the Muncie Fieldhouse, home to the Muncie Central Bearcats, the team that has the most state championships in state history. The team... I'm not doing this very well. Let me read it again. I keep thinking about what I have to say next. in Indiana. The team got off to a great start this season and beat their biggest rival in one of the most anticipated games of the year. Is that a little too fast? Central Bearcats have won the most state titles in Indiana. And this year the team is off to a great start. I'm sorry, I say in this and this season the team is off to another Central Bearcats. The Muncie Central Bearcats have won the most state championships in Indiana. And this year this year they're off to a great start and, and, and even beat their even recently beat their biggest run in Muncie South. And recently beat Okay. I'm 
nervous. Okay. The Muncie Central Bearcats have won the most state titles in Indiana. The team is off to a great start this season and recently beat their biggest rival, Muncie Southside, and one of the biggest, and I want to say most anticipated. Central Bearcats have won the most state championships in Indiana history. The team has got off to a great start this season and recently defeated their biggest rival, Muncie Southside, in one of the most anticipated games of the year. I got the wording down. Okay. Okay. The Muncie Central Bearcats. The Muncie Central Bearcats have won the most state titles in Indiana history. This <laughs> the Muncie Central Bearcats have won the most state championships in Indiana history. The team has got off to a great start this season and most recently. Oh, I keep messing up. The Muncie Central Bearcats have won the most state championships in Indiana history. The team has got off to a great start this season and recently beat. Central Bearcats have won the most state championships in Indiana High School boys basketball history. The team has got off to a great start this season and recently defeated their biggest rival, Muncie Southside, in one of the most anticipated games of the year. I'll do one more like that. That was good. Okay. The Muncie Central Bearcats have won the most the Muncie Central Bearcats have won the most state championships in Indiana High School boys basketball history. The
team has got off to a great start this season and recently defeated their biggest rival, Muncie Southside, in one of the most anticipated games of the year. I think that was good. Now, we want to start on our next one.
historic rivalry will come to an end after this season. Next year, two schools become one. Rivals become teammates. I was a little serious. Yeah, let's do it again. Let's do a conversation. Okay. Let's try and sound like a news person. That's cool. That historic rivalry will come to an end after this season. Next year, two schools become one. Rivals become teammates. rivalry will come to an end after this season. Next year, two schools become one. Rivals become teammates.
I'm Neil Rinke, it's N-E-I-L-R-E-I-N-K-E. -E. And what year are you? I'm a senior. And how do you feel, should I ask how I feel about the, the two schools? Yeah. What, yeah. what do you think is going to happen with this movement? Um, the first year I think might be a little rough just because it's double the amount of students in the same building and it's a lot of people that don't know each other, but I think after the first year it'll be just fine because Central used to have that many students by itself and so, I mean, we're not used to it being that way, but I think within a year or two, they'll be used to it being that way, and that'll just be the normal. Yeah, do you have any hopes for the basketball program in particular? Um, I don't know. I mean, I hope to see them do really well and maybe get more state championships, and I think with more students, that's definitely possible. Great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Spell it so we have it on tape. Uh, Tyler Wood, T-Y-L-E-R-W-O-D. Uh, so we're kind of doing a story, um, both on you know the major success the basketball program has had, and also um, Southside joining Central next year. What are your thoughts on that consolidation? Um, I don't know. It's it's a bummer. Like I've been to every single Central Southside game there's ever been. Like I just it, it's a huge deal. The, the rivalry, like it's always been there. Can you hear him? Okay. It, the rivalry's already always been there, and like I don't know, like. Also, I think everybody here is hurting, like, 
like, I just used to look forward to going to every single sport, like the rivalry, just to see at, like all the games, you know. And like, I don't know, it's just, it's just huge. Like, there's no real way to describe it. Like, I don't know. So you're, you're sad that that rivalry oh, yeah. will be over? Oh yeah, yeah. No, I mean, I've been to so many games, and I've just seen like the crowd that comes to every single game, and and you just feel it. All those games, you just feel it. And then just like all that just be gone forever, you know, just, I don't know, it really sucks. But what year are you? I'm a sophomore. Do you play any sports? Uh, soccer, soccer and football. Well, that'll affect you as well, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Awesome, well, I think that we got it. You're the first person that's gonna get it. That, that seems like sad about it. Everyone else is like... joining your school next year? I think the first few months is going to be hectic and hard to get used to, but I think it's going to be a good change for the Muncie community. Sports are going to be A1. Yeah, that's kind of the consensus. It sounds exciting for you guys. How do you feel about it? I think it's good for the community to bring Muncie together as a whole because it's been so, it's been so separate for so long, and I think it'll be good. Will it make cheerleading, cheerleading tryouts a little more competitive? Yes. Maybe. But I'm not too worried. You guys are fine. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not too worried at all. Okay. And do you have friends over there? Yes, but she will have one friend on the team, but she's a senior, so she won't be trying out next year. Gotcha. Anything else you guys want to add? What? Nope. Okay. <laughs> all right. That was great. Thank you, guys. Good hey, job. How do you feel about Southside joining your school next year? I think it's going to be hectic the first few months, but I think it's going to be a good change for the Muncie community and sports are going to be A1. And how do you feel about it? I think it'll be good for the community since it's been so separate in Muncie. And Will you guys miss the rivalry? Yes. That it, the Central South week is like the biggest thing for school. Like all cheerleaders and everybody in school look forward to it. And it's going to be something that's going to be hard to get over, but we'll have to deal with it for one year. I'll definitely miss it. It was it's a really big game in the uh, um, season, definitely. Thank you, guys. Go. And then make sure we get their name. Okay. Yeah. Um, how do you feel about Southside coming to your school next year? And then if you miss the rivalry. But real quick, can I get your name and can you spell it so we have it on tape? Uh, it's Ron Jones. R-O-N J-O-N-E-S. Okay. And how do you feel about Southside joining your school next year? Uh, well, I won't be here, but uh, I think it can be, you know, good. It's going to save a lot of money, you know, but, you know, it might not be good for some people because they're not, they don't exactly get along with people at Southside, but other people do, you know, they're actually, they're not that bad. Is the rivalry really all it's been hyped up to be? Oh, yeah, it's, yeah. Because, like, they're, like, not too far across town, so. Yeah, we, like, our game, it was, like, the whole stands were pretty, like, pretty much full, so. Yeah, it's, it was, yeah, it's pretty, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Sounds good, thank you. Thank you very much. Let's get them on tape. Which one can you say and spell your name later? Huh? Can you just say and spell your name so we have it? Jamie Prince of Church, J A I M E P R I N C E hyphen U P H U P C H U R C H. Okay, sorry. Yes. Okay, thank you. Lydia is now. Lydia. L Y D I A Brown. B R O W N. And what year are you? I'm a junior. Okay, thank you.
Okay, if we could just have you say your name and spell it. Kent House, K E N T H O U S E. And how? Okay, yep. And how long have you been coming to games for? Well, since '68 when I graduated, but before that, so we have a long history in our family of the basketball. But consistently, the last six years, I've been a, a ticket holder. And did you play here when you? No. Okay, just a fan. But I had children that did, and uh, my dad did in 42, and uh, he needed one credit to graduate, and he went to service and had to graduate in 46. Okay. But no basketball player. But I do have a niece on the ninth grade team. And um, how much do you enjoy the rivalry between South and Central? If you was here last week, you seen the true Hoosier hysteria that we had 6,200 here, and it rocked, and it was a good, it was a good game. We won, but it was the crowd and the uh, atmosphere that that said it. And are you sad that that rivalry rivalry will be ending? In a way, but I'm also glad that we are coming back together. Muncie can't support two high schools. I'm sorry for some of the Southside people that are unhappy, but I think we'll. If you leave the parents out, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. So you think, and a lot of people are saying the program, the basketball program, could be even better next year. It's possible. But you know, when we went in the 60s, this place was packed every night. And when we went to play any place else, it was. But Hoosier Hysteria is not here no more in any of the schools. Yeah, well, hopefully it'll return. My wife even, she was in the alumni cheer block this this year and last year. As you notice, schools don't even have cheer blocks no more. Yeah. And, and 